here in Nashville, we have a radio station called Hippie Radio. I like to listen to it at times, and they play a lot of the 60s, 70s music. And recently they played a song by the Beach Boys. It's about 60 years old, but it's, it's kind of like a summer anthem. Do you remember the song, California Girls? And uh, decades later, Katy Perry did the same song, changed it around a little, spelled it a little differently with Snoop Dogg. It became the song of the year. But the song deals with, you know, here, let's contrast girls all over the United States, but where are they best? Supposedly based on, you know, good objective information, you be informed they're California girls. Well, you know what, that's kind of amusing and, and catchy, but... You know what? We have to be informed in this culture today when we're going to vote for candidates. We can't just be willy-nilly or say, I base on emotion or my feelings. And I want to deal with 21 progressive positions of California Kamala. This is not uh, ideological. This is not uh, personal. What this is, is based on voting record, stats, documentation. I did this study and I want to pass it on to you. And if you're a pastor, this is something you need to share with your flock because really we have a responsibility. Remember, the, the First Amendment says freedom of religion. And that's not freedom from religion, but freedom of religion. And we need to help people understand so they're not just going by willy-nilly emotion. Stay with me. Events have been happening at lightning speed, and I think all of us know this. And recently we saw a, a man that said aggressively and, you know, very strongly for, for years, he was fit, I'm ready to go, but all of a sudden Biden said, I'm out of here. And he gave the nod to a, a woman named Kamala Harris. Now, the question is, who is Kamala Harris? Well, she comes from California, and uh, she's an African-American and Indian mixture. And um, as, a, as a person, let's just take a look. Let's not deal with things personally. We're going to look at uh, perspectives and, and, and positions on voting. But this was a woman that had some political ambition, and she became a district attorney in where? San Francisco. And then she went on to be the attorney general for the state of California. And then she had aspirations not too long ago to be president. So she ran. Uh, she was the first one to bow out in the primary, you may remember. She didn't even get one vote. And uh, then she saw an opportunity when um, Brett Kavanaugh was going to be considered for the um, Supreme Court. And she and one other person, they were the most uh, aggressive to attack this man that he was not fit to be in the position. So she gained notoriety. And then when Biden got the nod and realized and said, well, I need to get a woman, woman of color, whatever, he picked Kamala. So Kamala took the role. Now people say, well, what does she represent? Who is she in that? Well, you have to understand that she is recognized as probably one of the, if not the most, um, what would be the best term, progressive supporters of socialism. And if you don't know what that is, that's not communism, but it's the first step there. It's not capitalism either. It's where the government uh, controls and oversees and distributes, you know, the products and who gets what. And there's this idea of we're going to make equity and everybody somehow gets it all. And people even say that's in the Bible. And it says that there was not a needy one amongst them. Well, no, 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 no. Man is basically selfish. And in the book of Acts, that was done out of servanthood voluntarily. And so we've got to be careful. But when you look at the track record, and you can study this of Kamala Harris, you can see her leanings. In fact, do you know a number of years ago when they said who was the most far uh, leftist member of the Senate, when she was in the Senate, which she was for four years, they picked her. Now, Bernie Sanders and some of the others, AOC, they probably say, wait, 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 wait a minute, I'm the most liberal and all that stuff. But she got the nod. But then when she became vice president, you have to remember these past number of years, she and Mr. Biden have to own the record. And that affects you, your families, our future, groceries, gas prices, uh, all of these things. Has it been a good four years or do you say she owns what Mr. Biden produced, and did he produce some things that were good or bad? You make the call on that. But I want to talk to you about some of her positions. You can check these out. These are all documented. I'm going to give you rapid fire, but stay with me. This is number one. 
first thing out on the campaign trail now that she is running for president and starting to get the endorsements and a person that had a lower approval rating in America than Mr. Biden, well, now all of a sudden it's almost like she's Joan of Arc and she's the second coming. Here she comes. Well, what what is her record? Well, on the campaign trail, I, I listened the first day she's out there. She was talking about there's people today, traditionalists, conservatives, whatever, that want to ban books. You have to ask, are we... I'm one of these. I'm not talking about banning books, but I'm saying protecting our children from pornography and sexually charged material in our schools. She supported. Let's stand against this. Number two, I noticed this one. And these are the points that I'll go through rapid fire. Number two is, do you know that she supports uh, 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 what is a guaranteed income? You know, this is not welfare in that, but everybody should get a guaranteed income. You know, maybe around six, seven, eight thousand, whatever, and it's guaranteed so that we have what they'll call equity. She supports also guaranteed uh, uh, free college education. Now, that was an interesting one, but when you look at her record, that's not just public co uh, college and universities, but private. You get, you get your cut. Maybe you make 125000 or whatever. No, the government is going to pay for college education. What's the next one? Well, I thought this one. Free child care. So you're going to have child care. That's what she's from, California, Alameda County, and they have a program there. And, and so all of a sudden, you need child care. Well, for the next 0 to 12 years old, you're going to get it. The government is going to cover that and pay for it. Okay, how about this one? Um, she supports legislation that would protect illegal immigrants from deportation. The open borders policy. In fact, she's on record and saying don't even use the term illegal immigrants. And so she stands for that and no deportation of that. And so you say, well, open border. Let's continue the policy. How about this one? This was an interesting one you can discover. She believes in free health care, Medicare, medical uh, for all. That includes illegal immigrants, if I dare say the term. And she believes in that. And then that means the end of private insurance companies because you get a card. That's the way it's supposed to be. And whatever your needs are, it's kind of like in, in Canada or in Europe. The only thing that's not being told is, and if you talk with people and go to those countries, which I have, you see people can wait in line for, let's say, a, a shoulder replacement, hip surgery, whatever it is. You can wait a year, a year and a half or more. I have a friend, the house we live in, his mother or grandmother was waiting to get hip replacement or knee replacement, and she died in the process. So that's why these people will come here. But Kamala stands on record. She wants free health care and Medicare for all. She believes in unfettered, taxpayer-funded abortion right up until the moment of birth. Now, that's a scary one. That really is. Late-term abortion? You mean those last minutes? Yep. She went to 90 different cities or 90 different rallies in terms of the past few years for reproductive rights and freedom. And that means right up until, taxpayer funded, right until the moment, a minute before birth, extract something, exterminate the baby in the womb. Folks, uh, there's about 190, what is it, 290, I think it is, nations in the world right now. And, and the amazing thing is, when you think about this, 195 countries in the world, apart from the communist ones that say abortion, go right ahead, there's only three that take this kind of radical extreme approach. That's Canada, and I believe it's Singapore, and the Netherlands. So the, the destruction of human life. But she stands, reproductive freedom. She's called even the queen of abortion. That's a statement. That's a position that she takes. Another one that you can see is she raised funds. Remember when George Floyd took place and we had these criminals and all the violence and all that? She was on record raising bail money, bail money to get him out of jail. How about this one? This is a scary one that I, I came across. Called uh, for ICE, uh, Immigration and uh, Customs. The, the ministry, the organization, institution in America, she said, you know, during some of the difficulties and all that, we need to dismantle this and start to reconfigure it. And it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, don't we want to stand for this? Or do we also stand for, let's defund the police like we started to hear during Black Lives Matter time? How about this one? Uh, and again, I just go through it. Banning plastic straws. How about banning offshore drilling? 
How about banning fracking? Now, fracking is when you fracture, you know, rock, et cetera, to get to oil and uh, uh, be energy independent. She says, now you might say, well, isn't she changing on that now or that? Oh, I think she'll change on a lot of things to kind of moderate a little bit right now. But she said, let's ban fracking. How about this? Ban private health insurance. Well, if you have Medicare for all, why have it? Now imagine if you're in a union and you fought for decades to get that, and all of a sudden it's obliter obliterated and you'll get your card and start to wait in line. Is that what you want? You've got to ask yourself, how about this? Uh, uh, give illegal immigrants taxpayer-funded health care. I mentioned that. How about six months funding for post-pregnancy uh, caregiving? Sounds good. All of this, like Santa Claus, uh, entitlements. Give it. The government. That's why we say socialistic. How about this one? Um, uh, supporting rent control. How about legalizing prostitution? Yeah, sex workers. She went forth with that. How about decriminalizing and legalizing marijuana? How about support for transgenderism? Do you know that just the other night, at least when I'm making this, she was on RuPaul's, uh, what is it, drag show awards or whatever it is? She's right there. And she supported, I, I couldn't believe this one, the, uh, the uh, uh, Do No Harm Act. In other words, doctors do no harm if somebody needs surgical, you know, mutilation to become whatever, the boy, the guy, or the girl, the man, whatever it is, and we're going to force you. We're going to put you there, and same thing with abortion. What about this? Support for LGBTQ initiatives and agenda. I think we know that she's been very aggressive along with Mr. Joe Biden on this particular realm. Then you get into gun control. You say, wait a minute, restrictions there? Oh, start looking. See, when you get into socialism, you start talking about government controlling and it, you start losing freedoms. Now, you need to know what Kamala Harris stands for. And this is not about a song like California Girls. This is about your family, your future, your wages, and you've got to know where a person stands. And as a pastor, educate the flock. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And I'm saying with you, I want to be a, an informed voter. I want to vote values, and I want to protect our nation. God bless this nation, and may people be ready and informed and vote accordingly. Hey friends, if you felt this video was helpful, make sure you like and subscribe so you get notified once new videos become available. Thanks.